Welcome back again, rum lovers. It's Jamie of Ready Set Rum, and today we're going back to Jamaica. We've been all over the Caribbean today. We've been trying all sorts of different rums. There's a lot of rum reviews that's gonna be releasing. This might be the last one. I don't know, cause this is what rum review number five. Number five. Number five. All right. So number five, we're going to Worthy Park ST. So Worthy Park. Definitely have some some good rums that I really appreciate. And one of the rums I've been appreciating lately is this rum bar gold. I had a couple of bottles. Um and recently my cousin got ripped off in Jamaica and paid a little too much for this bottle right here. So check out, subscribe to my videos and check out I've been the I've been robbed in Jamaica video. God, that would explain to you this rum bar gold. <laughs> I, well, my husband was robbed via me because I had to still pay him mm. for what he paid, right? For that butter. Definitely was overpriced that he could have gotten way better price at the at the supermarket around the corner, right? Um, and then the next yes. one is the um, Worthy Park That's Select, it. not available in America. And honestly, for a long time, it's been my favorite Worthy Park until probably when I tried the 13 year. The Florida Rum Society select like that 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 barrel pick from yeah, Florida Rum Society, um, it's way way higher price, right? That one was about ninety ninety dollars ninety five dollars yeah, yeah ninety dollars ninety five. Uh, but these rums here, um, typically you could get the rum bag go for about twenty five. Yeah, twenty five. The select isn't available in America, but I would see that have been about. 40 35 40 yeah i would say about 35 40 would be the price yeah would be the price point in america in america right so we are, we are pre-pricing it for you guys at worthy park you know that <laughs> that's the sweet spot you know what that we believe this rum is worth in america or maybe we just price it based on the other stuff they have because they have right, it's yes i would say yeah, it's based it's on, based on the, the price point that they have in, um, in america because yes. the worthy park single estate reserve it's about 60 65 dollars 60 65 and that's a six to ten year yeah six to ten years and it's higher proof it's 46 46 yes. alcohol it's, percent alcohol. yes it's higher proof this is 40 this 40 percent 40. alcohol and it's uh four, four to, 12. to 12. Yeah, 4 to 12 right years. so we're just you know doing we're doing the calculations yes. in our heads and on exactly w w what you're getting here for your yeah money. and this is a four eight four year minimum minimum right so we don't know how much more beyond four you get maybe right four to six or whatever but the other one is four to twelve. Four to twelve. Right? So, you know, we just we know we can get this here. We know we appreciate this rum, but we definitely want to get you knowing of the other things that Worthy Park has and the other things that we appreciate from Worthy Park because the fact that we you know have the ability to get rum from Jamaica pretty much whenever we feel like it. You know, we have been experienced. Yeah. In you know a couple other things that you don't typically get in you know the US right right, right. so we want to showcase a little bit more of what worthy park has to offer so pretty much the rum bar is a cheaper line right so they have the rum bar silver this is now the rum bar gold and then they have the, overproof. the rum bar overproof right and the rum bar rum cream and the rum bar rum cream which is one of the best rum creams on the market according to a lot of people right i think could you get the rum bar rum cream in the us as yet yes it's so, available for about 30 30 to 35 dollars okay so the rum cream is already here i haven't tried it as yet have i no i don't think i've tried it okay now i'm questioning i don't know i don't think i've tried it but one person from jamaica has told me that is the improvement from Sansa, which is the other rum cream from Appleton that's not available in the US. One of the liquor store owners told me that it used to be here, they used to sell it. It used to, I recall seeing it. Long so, for whatever reason, they stopped selling the Sansa's in the US. Uh, but the the um, Worthy Park is supposed to be the upgrade from the original Sansa's, right? So, that's you know neither here nor there we are here with the top end of the rum bar line and pretty much the bottom end of the worthy right. Park line right yes it's you know the regular product line and the premium yes you know, the bottles a little more fancy a little more clean cut black and white with the little um you know gold and stuff like that uh, very much a more classy look 
and then we have the rumba gold um which is you know it's it's colorful it's nice you know has a jamaican flag as all jamaican products do and you know it's nice you can't complain about the look of either of them being of you know where the price point is and also you know exactly what they're going for this is just the typical rum drinking you know you're in a rum bar in jamaica that's why right. they call it rum bar because they're letting you know yo you're in a rum bar just after a rum bar right so we got into these two here so we want to start with the rum bar yeah with the rum bar definitely all right so we're gonna start with the rum bar goal four years minimum didn't even look for the leg 100 percent pot still one yeah so everything at worthy park is 100 percent pot still has a good burning i'm seeing some fine you know beads forming on the top but they're dripping down pretty quick and it's a four year what do you expect all right you smell worthy park funkiness on the nose immediately can't hide hmm. you can't use yeah you cannot can't hide, hide a worthy park rum anywhere it is just distinctive it's sweet it's not that hot just kind of surprising because worthy park rums are pretty hot a lot of times and this is not I'm getting a pine hmm like a lemon pine a pine and lemon Hmm. I don't know why it's hard to even <laughs> differentiate what Woody Park is. You know, I feel like I need to, to, to sniff the other one as well, man. It's just it's hard to even it's hard to stick to one rum. Man, these things are similar. Smell smell the Woody Park today. It's less hot. Less hot, similar, very similar, but less hot. So, Worthy Park has a bunch of different uh, marks. They have the WPL, the WPM, the WPE, um, all of different um, ester levels, and also, you know, get a different flavor on each of them. Uh, the WPM, I only had the WPL and M so far. The M is my favorite. I'm looking for the WPE. I think there's a young WPE out there, like a four-year WPE. Yes, I've seen it in the somewhere, so, somewhere on the internet. And honestly, the legs on on the on the the select looks a bit thicker. It's a bit slowly moving compared to the um the the rumba. All right. Hmm. This one has a a more fruity smell. The select. I, got, I don't know, I got an idea of like pineapples or something in there. You say pine and limes on the on the rumba? Yeah, it was like uh I think I was I'm, I'm getting on the rumba a bit more of a strong you know I don't know, I like got more aggressive flavor, a little more hmm, or a bit more rougher. Well it, yeah, it's a little rougher, but it's also a little more of like tannic or like you know a little more crude of a of a nose you know you know those those like it's like is like it sometimes you see the color is look at the color yeah it looks as if the silic is a bit dark the silic is a little darker yeah on mine as well the silic is a little darker all right we didn't pour exact numbers but it's pretty close and the silic is darker uh the silic nose is a bit more fruity to me i'm getting pines i'm getting a little candy on there. Yes. What is it? Candies. The rumba is a little rougher, getting like grass notes or something. So, definitely, the very select is. Very similar. But they're very similar. And that's why, like, at first we were doing one, but I was like, yo, they're so similar. It's going to be hard to do a full review of one and then do a full review of the next one because then it's like, it tastes the same. But if you just like side by side, it's a bit easier but man these things are close very close all right so let's get into the tasting okay. all right we're gonna taste the rum bar gold mm -hmm. 
Tis a strong pot. Tis a little sweetness on the end. It's prickly on my tongue. Hmm. There's a. Odds. Is it just. Is that odd spice or is it just like. Is it just that. At the end? Worthy park. Yeah. There's a worthy partner that just remains I on my tongue. I think that's the worthy partner where we talk about. Yeah. We're. We're. Now, once you. No matter how they disguise the bottle and mark anything yeah. else on it. Yeah. That's that uniqueness. Yeah, there's a worthy that partners. Is part. That is there. Worthy partners. <laughs> yeah, there's a worthy partners that's on that round bar goal. That's definitely it's there. And not saying anything wrong with the worthy partners no, of it. Not at all. Like as you can see this bottle is almost finished. I got this probably a month ago. End of June. So two mm. months. Alright, so two months, this way it's at. Um, the select I've been hanging on to the select to make this review. I've had it for probably two years now. Haven't had a second bottle as yet. I had a little sample bottle I got from 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 Zan. Some, yeah. But I was drinking from the big bottle when they had the uh, the rum tea same with yeah, um, same. with Florida Rum Society. So I have a tiny little sample bottle I kept. I really need to get a second bottle of the select. But after my cousin was robbed on on the rum bar goal, I I was a bit afraid of the select. Mm -hmm. Alright guys, so we tried the rumba go. We're not gonna try the rumba select age four, four to, to twelve. 12. Alright. Hmm. Is there more flavor in there? Let's prickle my tongue. More flavor. But there's more flavor. There's more. There's more wrongness to it. There's more like almost prune, like that kind of model fruited. You get the worthy part, it's definitely there, but still a bit more fruitiness. Like I feel like there's a bit more WPM on this blend. Yes. A bit more WPM on this blend. Um, worthy part is there, long lingering finish. Uh, but definitely there's a bit more there is a bit more a little bit more on the select you know it's like and maybe that's why they didn't bring the Willy Park select to the US because it's so close it's so close you know? like competing competing against each other yeah you know but the presentation is different it is it is you know the presentation is different so maybe that's a reason to bring it 40% is it different enough to compete with a, another category, you know? Because like, even Appleton only had the signature, the reserve, and the 12 year for a long time, and then the 21. Right. Right? And, you know, eventually came the 15 after many years, and they have the, the rare nephew. So right now, Worthy Park has the rum bar, overproof, the silver, the gold, the, gold. the single estate reserve, yeah. and the 12. They got five already on the market. You know, like, do they want to go and challenge and go in again on another rum at this point? So, I don't know. Maybe they're thinking about it, maybe they're not. That's just something that we're thinking about as rum consumers, as rum buyers. Like maybe that's why they haven't come into the market yet. Well, honestly, I, I I think probably you know what they were trying to go for is like they're trying to challenge, say Appleton, because mm -hmm. this was probably to challenge them the Appleton special, mm -hmm. right? And the single estate was probably to go off, you know, maybe after the twelve, yeah, six to ten years, yeah, somewhere there, yeah. So that's a higher proof, yeah. So. You could see, but maybe they're just trying to, you know, trying to get in on the market. Maybe they're not even thinking about Appleton, because Appleton is Appleton. You know, even though this is another Jamaican rum, you know, the flavor profile, the approach to things is just so different from Appleton. Like, 
maybe their market was just like yo let's find good price points to get into the market and be somewhat profitable yes you know so maybe that's also another thing that they consider but definitely these are two rooms that we like we like you know like our only complaint <laughs> is uh um we wish it was more widely available so true in stores so true so legit last week he was saying that last week before he was saying yeah, hey, it was last week i i can't find any rum bar overproof i was like bro i only got one he's like no nah, well leave your one i won't look for it i was like okay so i'm working in for in the fort lauderdale office there's a lot of liquor stores between that office and my house and i legit stopped every time i saw a liquor outside a building i stopped went in asked for it six different liquor stores none had it all right and these are different liquor stuff that i haven't been in a long time like it's not like i'm, I'm going to stuff that i know i can easily call them up like these are just liquor stores that i don't know that i'm stopping into uh, and he also did something similar like he was yes stopping I, I the day before yes i stopped at three liquor stores so we stopped at so many liquor stores could not find any rum bar products not even just like even we were looking for the rum bar overproof we couldn't find any rum bar products none at all on the shelf right so you know for most people it's, it, it is what it is like for us like it didn't bother us any we honestly we always like he actually found at his you know at one of his storage places <laughs> where he had the butter there right so he has so many rums around that he could find like i you know i have a butter there I typically could get me a butter together, you know, in, in, in a reasonable time. So we don't have this problem. But for the average viewers like yourself, right. definitely, you know, we wish we could see more Rumba products on the shelf, especially the Rumba Overproof in the Florida Rum Society. Everyone apparently drinks oh Rumba my. Overproof and Ting. They don't do Ray and Ting. When Ray and Nephew is widely available. You cannot go into a liquor store That's and not true. find Ray and Nephew in South Florida, right? But, Florida Rum Society guys, always the rum bar overproof and thing. What's good? And it's just hard to find. So, I could imagine that when these guys find rum bar overproof, they probably buy like four or five bottles because you just don't know when you're going to see it again. That's true. Right? And that is definitely not what we want to see with such a popular product here in South Florida. Rum bar overproof really needs to be on every shelf at least like one of the big vendors like abc or total, total wine. wine you know something that that has a bit of reach like primos has like four or five stores like if you could have make sure that we could have found it at any primos that would have been great but you know we can't, well sold out. we can't find it at primos no. like that so you know they, they definitely need to get you know distribution stuff together um you know but honestly the rum bar, I, I honestly, I like the rum bar gold, I like the rum bar overproof, uh, the select, that should be like, like my three favorites out of everything other Woody Park, oh and the 13, but that was like a, a barrel pick, like that's not going to be on the market a ton, um, it was only sold by Florida Rum Society, when that's done it's done, um, they've been doing a lot of barrel picks, there's like a 4 year yeah. MPE out there, there's a 14 year um, I, th I see. I think, I think it was that, a WPL. Yeah, I seen a sixteen year too. So they said they have a seventeen year. Copy it out. Wow. So there's so, uh, but most of these are barrel picks. Yes. So a lot of times yes, they're they barrel, barrel, barrel picks. picks. So they have the standard reserve, um, the single estate reserve, and they have the twelve year, and they have the select under the Woody Park line. The twelve. The twelve is a um. It's a regular. It's not yeah, that like. It's not, so the twelve was supposed to be a, a limited amount limited of barrels, edition, but like edition with six thousand so, bottles, I believe. But or six thousand in America and six thousand. I don't, I don't something know. Something like that. But where could you find it? I can't find it anyway. Anyway. What did the twelve? You can find the twelve still. Yeah, I can still find the twelve. Okay. In so, America. Okay. I bought the twelve. Were they expensive? One hundred and thirty, one hundred and forty. Yeah, one hundred and forty or so for it. So I bought the twelve in Jamaica. I bought the the, the reserve. I think that was also in Jamaica. Almost, almost all my 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 woody pack bottles have been bought in Jamaica, except the rum bar overproof. Right. That I still get in the US. Um, that's something that, you know, I stock up. I aged in my barrel. The other day, I actually forgot my barrel open and it dripped out all night. I was very upset, very upset myself. I mixed the rum bar overproof, 
and the Rumba Silver. I think about what next to do that that bar about there. But anyhow, um, what do you think? Must buy, must try, must have. What do you think about this? Must thing? have multiple bottles. So I am definitely I'm a believer. So I want to say it took me a while. Like Rumba really had to grow on me, but definitely. I don't know, I've been having, so because I only have one bottle of Select and I really want to save it for this video, I have stopped, I drank it down really fast and then I stopped. And then the rum bar gold, two months and it's down that, that amount. So, definitely, flavorful rum, um, what they call a Jamaican funk kind of rum. And each Jamaican distillery has a different type of funk, right? So, Jamaican rums have pot still, um, not all of them. So there's pot and column stills in almost every distillery in Jamaica. Yes. Except Worthy Park. Worthy Park only has one pot still, right? But they have a specific funk on their pot still rooms. Very it unique. It is very unique. And honestly, like if you're not used to it, you kind of got to get ease yourself into it, maybe with some ice and Sprite or something. For the, you know, the people who are accustomed to cocktails, you kind of ease yourself in and get accustomed to the flavor. For me, I started, I was like, yeah, I don't really like it. But it's been growing on me, especially with ice. This guy don't like ice, right? <laughs> but I have a tumbler. I have a couple tumblers, right? But I love like a Yeti tumbler with a big cube or big sphere of ice, right? You pour some rumba gold, some rumba select on that. I have a good night, right? That's how I like to drink my rumba. This guy just like, and, you know, and there's people, I don't know, there's people who just love it like that. No ice. Straight, no, no ice. Shame. To your game. For me, if I'm tasting rums to give you review notes, I definitely no ice, no cold, no nothing, right? That's needed for you to get into all the tasting notes. You don't really taste when it's a bit harsh, it's a bit prickly on your tongue, it's a bit spicy, it's a bit sweet, it's a bit there's sugar added. All these things you need to not have sugar added yes. to it. But when you have you know, but if you just want to sip on the night time, you need to do that with you know, honestly, we didn't even add a little bit of water to see if any transformation took place. You know, I just add a few drops, right, just to line it up. My guy over here been dropping bricks in the water. Look at that, look at that. Ah, yeah. <laughs> uh, right. So, oh man, but I definitely want to <laughs> add a little bit of water, just see how it opens up a little bit more. Yo, today has been quite a long, rambling day on these videos, man. Been enjoying ourselves too much. Hmm. What happened? I'm not sure. More worthy partner shows up. We add the water. Maybe that's what that was. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's that's what worthy that was. Park, funky. Like it's funny. Everywhere else <laughs> adds donder. Every, all the other distilleries, their pot sales and stuff, they add Donda from the Donda pits to their rums. Holy Pot does not. And I kid you not, you get way more flavor notes per Esther on a Worthy Park rum. Right? So, mm -hmm. many rums would say, I got 500 Esters. Worthy Park would say, I got 120. The <laughs> Worthy Park has way more funk on it than. You know any other distillery, whether it's Hamden, whether it's Clarendon, whether it's it's it's, it's Appleton, Worthy Park beats them on flavor per conjurer, per ester, right? So never mm -hmm. forget that every ester is not made equal. Each ester doesn't have the same flavor profile, and each ester just is not the same thing, right? So definitely want to add the words that Rumba. It had a lot more worthy partners to it, which was really funny because typically it kind of dies down a little, you know. My guy, they had to drink plenty of water a little while. All right, so let me try the the um, basilic with water. Hmm. Hmm. Very bitter. There's a weird sweet honey note. Yeah. With the worthy partners on the select. It's a little that honey sweetness that we got when we mix the um the za the mizan the mizan xo uh -huh. remember we had gotten a little sweet like a oomph yeah 
I got a little bit of that, but definitely. Maybe I pour it too much you, water. Yeah, you add, you add too much water. That's the Maybe, thing. Maybe, because I'm, get, I'm getting a, 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 a bitter. That's <laughs> right. So, guys, so, one thing Ed Hamilton had taught us was that, hey, if you just dash a ton of water in rum. Like what you, I just did. Like, like what he just did. The, the way how the, the, the alcohol breaks down is different from when you drip feed water into rum to dilute it down from like 60 to 40 percent right so if you dilute down from 6 to 40 you drip feed over days weeks yeah to get it down right so you get a big vat and you're just dripping right so the the way how the alcohol dissolves and 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 and, and breaks down and and incorporates the water molecules into it is different when you drip feed completely you just dash the water on it right it's just a chemical reaction that is just different so that's the chemistry side of what we've learned but tasting wise it tastes different as well he was quite turned off i found it a little bit more on the worthy partner shouting that pot still funking is shouting he added so much water that you know the worthy partner just hit him in his face <laughs> right um but definitely guys these are two great they are, they are. Um, shout out to Zan at Worthy Park. Um, we did tasting at the office that he had provided some rum bars and stuff for the tasting. Uh, that was several, probably a year ago. We did well, at the office ago. and we did at the party. At the so party, we, yeah, yes. we went to a couple parties, promoted the brand rum um, rum bar, and I, you know, whatever was left, we did it at, um, at the office. And you know, it's definitely thanks to Zan just so you know, honestly, it's like a, it's a, it's a free trade on, on honestly because like he gave me the rum bottles, you know, and people drank it. I didn't really drink it, but I was kind of promoting Ready Set Rum as well in that instance, right? So, definitely two good rums, definitely to get me another worthy part select. Uh, yeah, you know, Ready Set Rum taking around the world, two delicious rums at a time. Cheers.